Hello, and welcome to day two of 25 with Pageants and Pythons tutorials. I am hoping to make this stretch. Today, we are going to be doing a color change snake pencil holder where I attempted to do a holographic. See how that works out. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to flip it inside out to get the very bottom parts. And I know you guys have seen some of my videos before. I have no rhyme or reason why I paint the colors in my paint. I just kind of choose. Um, these are the Let's Resin holographic, or I'm sorry, color changing mica paints. And so I'm just going to kind of layer them in. I wanted to do the ones that had kind of like a sheen to them, um, some coppers and some reds and some golds. And I am using a paintbrush that is ultra soft and it has a lot of bristles so that I can stipple that into those little spots. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to hear me talk forever, but I'm going to do this all the way around and keep going until I get to the top and then I flip it right side in and then do it normal. So now what I'm going to do is mix just a tiny teaspoon of each of these colors back into my two-part epoxy resin. And then I'm going to do just a dump pour. Uh, some people call it dirty pours. I call it dump pouring because essentially that is what it is. So with mica paints, what I have learned is you want to stir them really, really, really well or you get these little chunky bits that almost look like bubbles, but they are chunky bits. And I have been lazy in the past and not stirred it up and I get all of the gnarly chunky bits. So I'm going to stir these up real well and then here they are. They're all nice and mixed up. And then, like I said, I am dump pouring. So blue, then copper, and then just kind of dumping them in. And then a little bit of this red color changing, and then some of this pearlescent one. And then I'm just going to go back and forth until it's full. What's really cool about this mold is it really doesn't take a lot of resin. Uh, I think I used a quarter of a cup for this one. Um, something I'm working on is being better about and more cognizant about knowing how much is in there so I can tell you guys. But, you know, as I go on, I'll learn more. So I poured these a little bit at a time, just one on top of the other. And so I have the mica paint on the mold itself, and then I have the mica paint in the mold. So when you're using the holographic inserts, um, here I want to fill till it's all the way up so the holographic insert can touch it. Uh, I really honestly have not gotten the hang of those yet. So if anybody has used holographic inserts and had success, please, please let me know because you'll see here in a minute how this turns out. So this is when I got off Amazon. You see that's kind of the shiny holographic side. So I'm going to flip it, stick that right onto the mold, which is supposedly what you're supposed to do and just create a seal. And maybe it's because I used mica paint. Maybe I'm supposed to use it completely clear. I don't know. Help me out, please. <laughs> um, if anybody's seen any videos where people use these successfully, tag me in them. So here is the next day. And you see it's kind of holographic at the bottom. But, oh, sorry. Stick. Stop. It's yet yeah, holographic at the bottom. But once we pop this bad boy out, it's got all those really pretty color changing metallic looks and it's beautiful and we love snakes and but there's where the hollow ends it does not follow me back around to the top i don't know let me know what you think like and subscribe and follow me for more